Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you how you can get super cinematic footage in less than 10 minutes using just this phone and DaVinci Resolve. Let's go. So I'm gonna start with the with the color space transform sandwich. So I'm going to create uh, two nodes, okay? And this first one will be CST in. This one CST out. So now we are going to uh, find the color space transform. This was shot with the iPhone 15 Pro Max, so uh, we need this configuration Rec 2020 and an Apple Lock. And here, DaVinci White Gamut and DaVinci Intermediate. This CST out um, is uh, more or less uh, the same. DaVinci White Gamut and DaVinci Intermediate. The output color space will be Rec 709 and the output gamma Rec 709A uh, because of the Mac configuration. And this is now our Rec 709 footage. Perfect. Um, now I'm gonna create six serial nodes. Okay. I'm going to move this one here. And uh, these first three nodes will be uh, primaries, contrast, and this one, the saturation. Okay. Saturation. So, for our primaries, uh, we are gonna dance just a little bit with the leaf uh, gamma gain control. Uh, what I'm trying to do is just to get a good starting point. Okay, careful with the highlights and the shadows. I think, uh, yeah, here is fine. Okay. Now the contrast, um, I'm gonna touch this uh, control just to recover some information from the shadows, uh, right here is fine for me. And the saturation, a tip, uh, when you try to pull up or down uh, your saturation, Please take a look into the lips of the person that you have in the in the image because many times you can see the limits right there. So uh, now this node will be the answer. That's right. And we are going to pick this guy, the answer pro, and drop it uh, right here. This is the the first approach, but do not panic. Uh, you can see all the options expanded, so I'm gonna hold on my option key in the keyboard and click. Everything is fine now. So first thing we need to say to the answer that this is DaVinci White Gamut Intermediate. And next thing is to remove the film grain. Okay, it's distracting. Super. Now we are gonna play with all these guys. Uh, first thing is try to balance the footage just a little bit. So let's go to magenta, I think 4.6 is more than enough. Okay, now we are going to uh, to the film profile and I am going to put the Kodak Vision 350D. Uh, uh, this was shot in daytime, so 50D is the perfect emulation for that. And for the print, we are gonna use the famous Kodak uh, 2383. Uh, look how amazing it looks just with three clicks. But uh, I want something else, so now I'm just looking for something warm, so I'm going to push hard this target white. I will say until 700 more or less, yes. And and this other guy, color density, just a little bit. Now, 
Hey, I think I'm going to go here from developer. And I'm going to recover some information from the shadows. And the color boost, yes, a little bit. I'm going to push up. Yeah, I like it. Now let's touch the color head. Um, we are going to pull up the, the mid tones. Okay, I want to recover some information until 17. Yeah. And extract just a little blue here. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's add. Uh, some bloom effect this is like a promised effect in your footage the super 35 millimeters is my favorite I use it all the time well this is our rec 709 footage and our color grading with the answer uh, now we are going to call this node uh, sharpness so we go uh, here and uh, we Pull it down until 47. This is uh, before and after. Okay. And here will be our power windows. Okay. So let's go with a gradient. And uh, okay, let's see. Here, bigger. Yes, let's see what part are we touching. Yes, more or less. Yeah, okay. The idea is to decrease the light on this area uh, in the sky. We want to focus just in the boy. So I'm gonna pull down right here and here as well. Yes, I like it. This is before and after. Better now, right? Now I'm going to create another serial node here. Uh, this will be just for the blue color. And uh, I'm going to curves and hue versus hue. The idea is just to recover some blue color from the code. Now there is a lot of yellow. So I'm going to pull down this guy just a little bit. Look the difference before and after, okay. And that's it. I'm gonna show you now the final look in full screen.